Hey guys, Dirty here for Premiere Basics, and today we're going to create a fun cartoon style title animation. So let's fire up Adobe Premiere Pro, and the first thing that we'll do is locate the Essential Graphics window. Click on the New Item button and add a rectangle. Increase its size to cover the background. This is gonna be the background. So choose a color that you like. I'm gonna pick yellow because it's better for a thumbnail. Alright, next up, create an ellipse and let's change the color to white or something else that you prefer. You want to change its size, the height and the width, so that you have a perfect circle. Make it big enough though. Now, to save some time, let's copy and paste this circle twice. As for the second circle, we're gonna change the color to be equal to the background, and then scale it down a bunch. Keep in mind to have the same height as width. And finally, the last circle only scaled down using the height and the width properties. There we go, now let's add a text in there. You can of course also add your logo. I'm gonna change the color, the font, and any other styling to make it fit nice in the center. All right, that's the setup. We can now fine tune it a bit more and of course deal with those animations, but first, a word from today's sponsor. Everybody knows that stock clips are a filmmaker's best friend because sometimes you just don't have enough time to shoot everything yourself and that's why I love Storyblock so much. In their ever-growing library with more than a million royalty-free high-quality stock assets, you can find everything you need for your videos. As for example, drone shots, green screen shots, motion graphics, lens flares, and so much more. Now I use Storyblocks for almost every project that I work on, like for example when we made the triple exposure effect tutorial. With the wide variety in the Storyblocks library, I could find the perfect shots for this effect. They really helped me to bring my creative work to the next level without compromising on anything. You can find stock clips in HD and 4K resolutions, various Premiere Pro and After Effects templates which will save you a lot of time, epic music, sound effects, and so much more. And to top that off, you can download an endless amount of assets from their library with the unlimited all-access plan, or you can check out the other affordable plans, there is one for everyone's need. If you want to learn more about Storyvlog, and how to start downloading right away, click the first link in the description down below or go straight to storyblogs.com forward slash Premiere Basics. All right, back to Premiere. We're gonna start off with these circle animations. And for convenience, I'm gonna open up the effects controls and locate the first circle in here. I'm gonna create a keyframe for the scale. At first, it has to be zero, go forward in time and make it 120. Then go forward again and make it 100. We get this bounce animation now, which is nice, but it doesn't look really good. You wanna expand the scale property to reveal the animation curves. The higher this curve, the faster the animation goes. So if I pull on the lever of the middle keyframe, I can bring that curve down. The animation starts fast and ends slow. And I'll do the same thing with the other side of the keyframe. This will make the animation look a whole lot smoother. Now we're gonna add the same animation to the other circles. So select the keyframes and hit Ctrl C to copy them. That's Command C for the Mac users. Select the second circle, but before we're going to place the keyframes onto it, we're gonna move a couple of frames forward and then paste the keyframes. Select the next circle, again move a couple of frames forward and now paste those keyframes in there as well. And this will add an offset, which combined creates a fun animation and that's kind of the essence of this tutorial. It's a technique that you can apply to so many kinds of animations, where you just keyframe one property and then copy it in an offset to other layers. Definitely try to experiment more with this idea. All right, now comes the text, and I actually want to introduce some motion blur in this particular animation. But to do that, we're gonna have to work with the transform effect rather than animating on its original motion properties. To do that, we'll first right click on the text layer and choose group. This way we can add the transform effect into that group, which now will only be applied to the layers within that group and not the rest. Now, what I wanna do is start with the same animation as the circle. I'll animate the scale going from zero to 140 and then back to 100. Now make sure to smoothen the animation by pulling on the curves as seen before. Now to introduce motion blur, you want to set a custom shutter angle. 180 degree will give you a natural motion blur. And now you might notice that all of a sudden the program monitor goes black and it will come back at the point that your animation starts. That's currently a bug, so Adobe, if you're watching, please fix that. In the meantime, a workaround is to start your scale animation at one instead of zero. We're gonna have to animate the opacity for one frame as well, otherwise we'll see our text very tiny in the middle of the screen before it should actually appear. Lastly, I'd like to add a rotation animation in it going from zero to 360, a full rotation. And to really make it look good, I'm gonna pull the animation 
animation curve on the last gear frame to make it spin fast in the beginning and then slowly stop. Now there's one last thing that I want to do and that is go to Lumetri. On the bottom you'll find vignette and we'll decrease the amount to not make that design so flat but to introduce some vignetting on the edges. And that is how you can make a fun logo or title intro with smooth animations. Now if you learned something new please give this video a like because that really helps with the YouTube algorithm which supports the channel. Thank you so much for watching, thank you Storyblocks for the support and as always stay creative. Now check out the video here on my left for more and over there is a subscribe button if you want to see us every single week, every Wednesday.